Hi, welcome to my first YouTube video. This machine uh, was, um, the idea was given to me by a friend of mine who works for a card company. What he was looking for was a machine where he could plug this into a normal USB card programmer um, and then this would fully automate the programming of all the cards. So we've got dispenser, main programming area and stacker. There's been a quite a progressive build. We started off with the stacker, um, then I made the dispenser and then I made the middle section. So um, it's more or less finished. Um, there's a bit of like startup sequence I want to do where it exits a card if you know it, it, if there's a card stuck in there, it will uh, spit it out the back. And so on. So um, what we'll do is we'll run it so you can see and then we'll uh... so now it's waiting for a command from the computer using normal serial communications. Um, so one will stack and then two will eject. So we'll press number one and end Oop, wrong program. Try again. So we'll press number one and enter. So that's a pass, so that will stack the card. And then it's loading the next. So this one will be a fail. So this one will spit the card at the back. And there you have it, and then it's loading the next card. So what I'll do, I'll take the camera off the tripod, and then you can have a look at it closer up. So, there we have the card being ready to program. In Europe. So if I press one, control enter, it comes up, or it comes through, and then that's being stacked. So this time we'll do an eject, which is around the backyard. Because I'm using stepper motors, it's quite slow. Um, if I were to build this again, uh, in the back section here, I would use DC motors um, just to speed the process up. Um, I do have two modes on this. So I have uh, um, like a development mode, uh, which is coded in software, which will then spit out like loads of serial information. So that's what it's spitting out at the moment. Um, so if I press 1 and control and enter and then that's the information that is sent to relevant software for programming these cards. So yeah, that's it. That's the machine. Um, this whole thing kind of um, was off the back of this other machine that was the first one I made. Um, this one is uh, just a card stacker. Um, the scenario was they had a machine which was just spitting out cards uh, and they needed to, instead of them just dumping on the table, they needed to stack them. Um, I can't run this because I've whipped the motor off it, um, but I, I need to replace the belts anyway because these things, the glue has just gone all hard and horrible. Um, but basically the, the sensor picks up, picks up that there's a card there, runs the motor, runs into this area here and then pushes up um, past these little catches. Um, yeah, and this one will stack up to 100 cards. Um, whereas my new one, uh, this will stack four or 500 cards easy. Um, gets a bit clunky because it's only got two bearings uh, on the left. So as you can see, 
and actually using the bearings to lift on a newer model that I'm thinking about making this would have four bearings and then there would be no clunking at all uh, it would be quite a smooth operation so that would do four or five hundred cars easy um, yeah so uh, um, as I say off the back of this one I actually sat down to do the documentation draw it all up and, I, and uh, the, the, the idea of using the bearings just came to me and I thought actually I'm not going to document it I'm just going to make a new one so uh, if, I, if, if I were to make the first one again it would be with this stacking system so there you go um, any positive comments please <laughs> please leave in the comments box um, yeah um, more to follow hopefully thank you for watching